What's up guys, Andre here, and we're taking a look at Namco Museum, in a feature we like to call Game of Watch, of course. Uh, so Namco Museum is a game that's really, it's been around forever, hitting various platforms with different uh, arrangements of games. And this one has 11 games, and one on Nintendo Switch specifically, including Pac-Man, Galaga, uh, Dig Dug, uh, The Tower of Druga, I'm not familiar with that one, Sky Kid, Rolling Thunder, Galaga 88, Splatterhouse, Tank Force, Rolling Thunder 2, and Pac-Man vs. So we're going to take a look at some, if not all of these, except for maybe Pac-Man vs. But we already gave that one its own video. Um, but we'll check out some of the other ones here and just see how this game works and what it's all about. So let's go and start off with uh, Pac-Man, as I just said. And we'll hop into normal mode here. Of course, you know what Pac-Man is, right? Who doesn't know what Pac-Man is? But um, it is possible that some of you haven't played the original arcade version. Um, so now that we're on the tile screen right here, if we tap L, we can insert credits. And of course it makes that fantastic Pac-Man noise. Just keep adding credits. Yeah, sure, that's more than enough. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So in case you someone don't know how to play this game, the goal is to clear the field of pellets without being eaten yourself. The power pellets in the corners here allow you to eat the ghosts. Turn the tables, if you will. I believe you get more points if you eat more ghosts progressively in the same power pellet. So I haven't died yet, so I'm gonna consider that as me doing pretty well. Okay, well, there we go, I just ruined it. Come on, I have to clear, I have to clear at least one map. I'm so used to a Pac-Man Champion Championship Edition that I want to grind around these corners now. This feels so good, where you get like the speed boost for doing it, a very slight speed boost. Not here though, it doesn't count for anything in this game. Oh, we're almost done here. Oh, and then we can move on. Oh, I think, oh my god, is he gonna screw me? Oh! Here we go, alright! Yeah, that's a pretty good way to end that. I think it would be better if I didn't die at all. Alright, anyways, yeah, so you just keep going. So let's go check out the options, which you can access by tapping, I think, L or R. So, um, there's three different tabs here. You have the main pause menu, you have the control screen, where you can change which controller you're using, as well as the buttons. You can configure the buttons however you want. Um, in Pac-Man, there are no buttons, really, so it doesn't matter. You can also change the stick dead zone, which I won't. Um, you can also see how to play, in case you somehow don't know how to play, and my explanation right now wasn't enough for you. Um, walk you through the two-player mode. Yeah, it tells you everything you need to know. And look at that, there's a lot that you need to know, apparently. Man! Uh, let's go back to that screen real quick. It is R, just only R for options, by the way. So yeah, you can change the game, of course. Um, reset game, you can save. So we can save our progress right here for Pac-Man. We can load that save if we want. Um, here's something that's cool. So right now, you can see Pac-Man barely takes up any part of the screen, because the games back in the day mostly were more vertical, uh, were more vertical oriented. Um, however, if we rotate it, it takes up more of the screen. Now, that's not so great for playing on the TV, especially with how Pac-Man right now is... I have to rotate the controller for these controls to make sense. Um, otherwise, it's like, down to go left, up to go right. It's complicated. But this makes a lot more sense if you're actually playing on the Switch itself. Because this will take up more of the Switch's screen, which is smaller, of course, than your TV. And you can also ro the controller will rotate with the system, so the controls automatically make sense. Oops. So yeah, that is just kind of handy. Um, I'm gonna turn that off now because it's really dumb in this... Oops. There we go. It's even hard to read. And you can keep rotating 90 degrees until we get back to where we were. But yeah, playing the handheld is great. Uh, display. Um, you can change how the screen, uh, its position and everything. Kind of like how you go with, um, like classic computer monitors. You can change the aspect ratio. You can make it bigger or smaller. Turn off the fixed- Oh wow, so you can make it even one-to-one -one with the original game, I think. Let's, oh my god! That is really tiny! But look how clear and pixel perfect it is! Oh man, that's sharp! Right, let's get back in that menu, though. What else do we have here? Display settings? Oh yeah, that's what we just were, but yeah. Uh, we have scan lines on and off. Let's turn that off. Uh, we'll leave scan lines on, rather. Let's go ahead and crank it up. Make it look like an old CRT monitor. We can rotate the screen here as well. 
can change the background, different background types. Alright, that one's a little bit less obnoxious, so that's not bad, but I kind of like the obnoxious backgrounds. Display controls are on or off, and you can reset all the settings. So let's check out those scan lines here. Oh, there we go. That's... That's a little bit more like it. This is a little bit more how I remember Pac-Man looking back in the day, so... Alright, but let's go back to the menu one more time. Uh, check out the sound settings. Oh, that's interesting. So you can ch change how it actually sounds, like an equalizer, it looks like. Reverb length. Huh, interesting. Reverb depth. Change overall volume. Menu and sound- or music and sound effects. Uh, let's see how that sounds. Oh, that's kind of cool. It does make it sound a little more authentic, a little bit more like you're actually hearing it. I don't know, maybe in an arcade, perhaps. Anyways. Well, and finally, we have uh, game settings here. So you can turn the HD rumble on or off. Uh, when they got power pellet, you can feel the controller shaking. Um, and we can't change the settings because we're mid-game right now. But you can change how many lives you have, I guess which round you start in. Uh, if the 256 bug is here, which uh, it tells you straight up like the game might become impossible. And yeah, a few other things here. You can reset the high score. So yeah, there's a lot of options here. Anyways, let's go ahead and go back to the main menu. And let's check out another game. It's time to move on. Sorry, Pac-Man, as much as I like you. Let's do Galaga. I don't know what challenge mode is. Let's do challenge mode. So Galaga is classic, of course. Rescue as many fire fighters as you can within the time limits. We have three minutes. All right, this is interesting. Yes. So I will be straight up, I'm not very good at Galaga. Um, in fact, my uh, girlfriend makes, just destroys me in Galaga. She's like amazing at this game. I look like a total chump when we were playing it like at the arcade. I'm dead in the first couple rounds, and she's going for what seems like hours. See, there we go. My god. Look, I have a bunch of ships here. But yeah, this is a classic, like, old-school shooter. Like, this is kind of... Like, this is... I mean, this might be one... I mean, this is one of the first ones. I don't know... I don't know what map preceded. I mean, there were older shooters, of course. There were, um... Wow. So, challenge mode is pretty tough. Uh, Asteroid, of course, is a classic. Not here. It was not made by the, not made by Namco. All right, so let's go move on to another one. Yeah, this is a very classic scrolling shooter. Um, Dig Dug from 1982. So a lot of these games precede me, even, which is saying something. So this is another game like I've you know I played on you know I played over the years, but never that much. So like most of these games, I'm. Like, they're kind of new to me, too, in a sense. Or how do I get in here? I guess I'm already playing. Alright. Uh, actually, I don't even know what I'm doing. Am I trying to kill these guys? No. No, I am not. <laughs> so I think, um... Yeah, I actually don't... I should, you know, maybe I should read that, uh... The how-to! Here we go, we can actually see how useful it is together. Right. Oh, you fire a harpoon with A, you can drop some rock things to defeat enemies. Okay, you defeat them, alright. There we go. So I actually do want to get on this level and shoot my harpoon. There we go! Wait. Pump him up. That's so violent! Get out of here, dude. This game's pretty cool. I swear to God, I have I have played this game before, but it's been forever. Oh, I didn't want to do that apparently. I think. I'm gonna pump you up. Oh, 
Oh, the up is falling. Okay, so that is what happens. Alright, gotta get this last guy here. Oh, you jerk. No! He escaped! Final try, I think. Or maybe not. Looks like I have one more. I have to be A level. Oh, oh god. Alright, here we go. One more. No, not again! Whoa. Hooray! We beat a level. In a game I should know more about. Alright, let's go back to the main menu. We will continue on in our game tour. Uh, let's see, actually, are you guys curious what game options they have for each of these? I guess we can check these out real quick. Game settings... Oh, you can change which version it is. Oh, that's interesting. You can change uh, whether it continues on or not after a game over. Alright. Cool. Oh, there's an attract mode. Very cool. Oh, we revert. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go check out the uh, options for Galaga as well. Which mode it is, difficulty, version, new or old again. Okay, so they do seem to be pretty similar, so we may not check out all the options. Okay, I, 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 I honestly have never even heard of this game before. So, let's see what this is about. I do like the comic strips here on the side. Alright, I'm not going to read the directions. We're going to figure this out together. And by together, I mean by myself. Alright, so I, I go for the key. This seems pretty, pretty third cut so far. I can swing a sword. Alright, I think we got this. This actually reminds me a little bit of, um... Uh... That... It, it, oh god, is it Devil? Um, the Nintendo game. Devil's World? Oh, I can't remember the name right now. You know, for the Smash character, the Devil actually shows up. Yeah, I think Devil's World. I want to attack an enemy. Or go through the gate. Ah, I might do both. Um, how do I kill you? Okay, well, whatever. Alright, that sounds good. Player two. Or, sorry, floor two. I want to try killing an enemy. Oops. Oh, what is, what is that screen? Oh, just tints, I guess. All right. Killed him. All right, where was that door? I wasn't really paying attention. A, A. Oh, no! I guess I can't kill that thing. Or I just didn't do it well enough. I should kill him better. All right, let's go back for that key. I hit R. My mistake. Okay, that door is not here. Do we need to kill all the enemies, maybe? Or did I just... Maybe the door was on the right, I just really wasn't paying attention. There it is. Alright, this game's a little bit slow, at least starting off. But you can read the comic while you're wait. Make way, cut down the slimes. Here I come. Never turn your back on black magic. But this kid can go upstairs. Alright, I think we get the gist of it, so... All right, let's go and check out another game. Ah, uh, Sky Kid. Let's do normal mode. Seeing as how I don't think I've played this game before either. I've heard of it. Mission, bomb this target. I got you. Uh, 
Whoa. Okay, I like this. Alright, I like this already. Cool, this seems pretty simple. Whoa, I can do flips? Oh, heck yeah. Halfway point. Oh, this is my kind of game right here. I like how you can see you're targeting where they call too. Oh, what have I done? Um, okay, I think I died. I should probably figure out how I needed how I bomb. I guess I tried dive bombing him. Oh, we have rapid fire too? Oh, that's, that's way better. Get the bomb, okay. Where, is that the bomb? Yeah, it looks like. Whoa! Crap. I guess I don't want to fly <laughs> directly beneath it into the ground. Why does he hit the bomb from the get go? Dear God. Alright, I have to beat that level. I am not cool with that. Wait, no, don't upload that score online. Oh, and the controls. I. God, the controls are right there. So it's auto fire that I was pressing for the rapid fire. Instead of having like to hold down or to keep tapping A. I like how I can shoot their bullets. Here we go. Okay, careful. There we go. I just press A to drop. Oh! I bombed it. Part of it. Wow. Mission one is not easy. I'm also an idiot. I have to be this mission. I'm not gonna be happy until I'm done with this mission. I'm gonna keep doing the loops though. Kinda looks like I'm happy. Halfway point. Oh, I totally bombed it too! I'm making progress. I have to do this. I have to bomb it, I have to land. It's all I want in life now. This is my this is my white whale right here. Oh god. On the bomb. Oh, okay, there we go. Got it. Alright, now I have to land. Where? Right there. <gasps> Hooray! Nice landing. And I get a little dance party there. Sweet! Alright, I'll get this level one shot. Well, I mean, a lot of shots. One of my shots, lots of in-game shots. Oh, what? Man, they're already mixing things up here. Oh god, oh, I actually got hit, but... I guess as long as you don't hit the ground, you're okay? Got him. Whoa, I should not be flying this close to the tanks. This level's already way longer, dang. Oh ho 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 ho! Halfway! Oh! Okay, I need the bomb. There we go. No! My bomb! So apparently you can recover by tapping the button. That's what that thing means. Alright, so that is Sky Kid. That game's actually fun. I like that game. Here while we go, check out the game settings. Yeah, it's all basically the same. Alright. Main menu. Rolling Thunder. Another game I have nothing, no idea about. Looks like a... Uh, like beat em up kind of, maybe? I uh, know, it's more like a size scrum shooter game. What are my control? Look at this. Shoot and shoot and jump. I can do that. And go indoors. That's a, did, did that actually take me somewhere? No. So that's a bullet refill. Alright. Am I not gonna explode? I guess that's not an explosive. Why am I going in these doors? It's not doing anything. Can I just what can I hide in there? 
Oh. See, like, they're like, where, where'd he go? Oh, the, how'd that guy miss me? Uh. Can I open it in front of them? Like. Oh, dear God, that was a mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I thought maybe I could slam the door on them. Wow. Man, these guys do not mess around. Oh, we can try that one more time. Sure. Triple A. <laughs> I probably could use, like, Triple A's help right now. Like one hit did half my life bar in? Oh! Get some more ammo. I could use some health though, that's what I could use. I wonder if the enemies keep coming. Oh! Who knew a shot to the head could be so deadly? That was dumb. All right, well, this game's not for me. <laughs> Let's move on to... Looks like Galaga 88, I think? Yep. Which, I don't think I've ever played this game. Let's go duel. That looks cool. Well, I've never played this version. So we're gonna make it more than a stage this time. I like a space chase, a space station in the back. I like how every enemy explodes in like a fireworks show. Very pleasant. There we go. All right, I'm doing okay so far. As in, I haven't died yet. A chicken? Are these like flying no, bats? What, what are these things? Oh, I lost the ship. That's not good. Oh. Oh, that was close. And that's it. All right. Well. We, uh, we can see how that one works, so let's move on to the final few games, I think. Splatterhouse, another game I've never played. Keep in mind, when I was growing up, like, arcades were pretty much dead. Except for, like, GameWorks. And you'd find them, like, in bowling alleys. Alright, so here's, uh, a game starring character that totally wants to be Jason, but isn't for legal reasons. So again, punch and attack. All right, so, so far this is going better than a shooting game, I think. I'll pick up. There we go. Oh heck yeah! This is pretty violent, man. There's blood and gore and destroy people in cages. Oh no, they're still alive. Holy crap! Dang. Pick up. This is kind of making me hungry, and I don't know why. That kind of concerns me, actually. <laughs> I'm a thirst for blood! Is that bad? No! Do I come back? From that point? No. I should probably keep an eye on my life gauge. Oh, I just love just punching bats. Oh, I can... Looks like, can I go into, like, doors or something? Yeah, there is a door. 
Who put spikes here? Jeez. A slight elevation change threw off my game. Oh, what are these things? Oh god, I'm almost dead. Go up the ladder! That answered my question, what up's for. Oh, this is gnarly. I just changed the massacre in here. Oh my god! I don't even, like, what were those worm things? Like, Dune? Ah, oh, start right here. Can I punch up? No, I can't. Just kicking these guys in the jaw. Oh, and not be sticking my foot in there. Die! Oh, this is not looking good. I think I beat it. Hooray! Oh! oh! Cool! Made it stage two. This might be a record so far in this game. Now that's a Shadowgate looking picture if I ever saw one. Well, minus the gore. I got one heart left, or whatever that thing. Yeah, that is a heart. That's just a really gruesome-looking heart. And they got me. All right, so that is Splatterhouse. So let's go ahead and check out another game here. Tank Force. All right, so we have two more games. Yeah, another game I never played. I like tanks. Just as a general rule. Tanks are pretty great. Alright, shoot and I'll fire. I can handle that. Oh yeah, we get full movement. I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. Do you remember we play tanks? That game was amazing. It was also impossible. I was in two player. My friend and I, we have a goal. Every year, I visit him uh, at his house in Camden. We try to beat that game, and we never get any closer. We've tapped out. That game's impossible in two players. I can just shoot through. I should do auto fire. Oh god! Oh god! Oh well. Cool. Got flies. Where those tanks be at the bottom there? Idiots. I, feel like I shouldn't be talking. Jeez. Although I guess as one idiot to another, I would, I would know this. What's this? Oh, okay. I guess I give you more powerful shots. I think. Oh, I shot it. Let's get this. I have no idea what I did. Cool. One level down. And we just detonated the map. Sweet. What? Game over? God. The kids were ruthless back in the day. Of course, I can just keep adding credits if I want, so. Anyways, yeah, there's nine credits. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the final game here that I didn't already check out because we already checked out Pac-Man Versus again. So we're going to do Rolling Thunder 2. And based on how well I did the first time, I'm sure I'm going to do great here. What the? Okay, I thought I was going to run over already. I definitely like the, uh, the character and the area better in this game than the first one. Oh, the door animation is pretty slick too here. I 
the depth on the doors. That's what makes it really impressive. Oh! I'm out of bullets! Now what do I do? Um... Oh, okay, I'll just do that. I'll get some bullets. Not anymore. Wait, did they just come back or... Can I add credits for bullets? Nope. I have no idea where my bullet meter actually is. Or my bullet number. I guess it's come back. I thought for sure I was gonna die there. Oh! How do I. What do I do here? Oh, you can do a high jump. That would have been useful to know before. Okay, there my bullet number is. It was a zero. That makes sense now. Go back for more bullets, maybe. Oh, whatever. Oh no! It's not very nice, dude. No, just stay away from those guys. Oh, or you won't we'll just run it right into them instead. And we'll tell bullets again. Nothing a trend here. And that I think that's it. Yep, that is it. So let me just double check, make sure we've done everything on the main menu besides... Yeah, that's it guys. So yeah, once again, you want to check out Pac-Man, we have a whole video for that. Otherwise, that's a look at all the games in uh, Namco Museum. So, uh, you know, I think some probably hold up a little bit better than others. But if you if you want to like a look at arcade history here, there you go. Like, there's some, you know, classic games in here. And of course, it's hard to go wrong with Pac-Man and... Uh, Pac-Man vs. Especially. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Of course, stay tuned to Game of Spain for lots more on Nintendo Switch and everything else Nintendo as well. Catch you later. Bye.